Righty ho! Hello! Um, today I am doing a Pinterest decides what I draw challenge. That's what I've called it, I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it. So I've got my tablet here, Pinterest. So what it is, is, let me turn the brightness up on this, that's quite dark isn't it? So you have it here and so I'm gonna refresh and so essentially the top three, maybe four um, pictures that come up are the pictures that are going to inspire my drawing. So let's refresh. Okay, oh, okay, we've got that suppose. We've got a fair bit of like ballerinery stuff here. We've got a bit of Christmas and we've got a bit of Parisy winter. Kind of, kind of these five pictures, yeah, they're all kind of good. Right, let me take a screenshot then. Very good, and I'm just gonna save them all. That's not too important, but those sorts of colors, but we've kind of got some colors here. We've got browns. We're doing browns, apparently. Um, let's have a look at this picture then. So we've got, okay. I might not do that exact pose, but I might do something similar with that like amount of like arch, um, with the arms out, kind of thing, maybe like, I'm just checking it's recording yet. Maybe kind of like dancing in a field in the wind sort of thing. I don't really know. But I'm not going to do that exact pose. But we have got a ballerina here as well. I, there is definitely like, there's obviously a dancey vibe. And then here we've got this woman in the middle of Paris. Okay, okay. My little doggy browns are going browns. Mm-hmm. And we've got Christmas cards. Cool. That'll do. I keep burping in these videos and I don't understand why I burp so much. I don't ask me. Apparently talking makes me burpy. We're recording without the microphone today. Now it just, it's just not working. I think the wind, I think it's just picking up the wind too much. And for some reason, the wire just keeps coming out all the time. Yep, so no microphone today, going off cameras. Um, audio and hopefully that's all right it should be all right you just might hear a bit more of the wind than my microphone I don't know why it's not working I might just have to get a better microphone or something but anyway that's not the video drawing is the video okay so we've got a bit of a dancey vibe you know I might I don't know it just has to be the top three at least and I was like yeah that kind of makes sense but I don't I don't know I don't know let's just do a bit of sketching shall we so we've got that sort of floof the position so let's kind of draw do I want this yes yeah, just we'll go we'll go with this one so we've got a bit of a huh okay it's got a bit of a That's a really interesting hand that they've got there. It's like um, that. small but that's okay we can fix that in a bit
it because it's my drawing. It just has to be inspired by these interesting. This is quite a good way, like if you don't have any inspiration, you don't know what to draw. Um, these are good, you know. She kind of also looks like she's been hit by a car a little bit, doesn't she? Okay. I have changed the sh position, her pos the shape of her a little bit, which is not good if you're trying to learn how to do a specific thing. But I'm not trying to learn. I'm just trying to be drawing. Uh, uh, uh. You know, draw whatever you like. But if you're trying to learn to do something you know it's good like yeah or am i just morphing it a little bit no that is looking okay like this foot i'm gonna look at the foot in the photo because i i'm rubbish with feet and that looks pretty Good. Like, I do not know how to draw this foot position. So, kind of looks like a weird violin. Ah, oh, putty rubber, don't do that to me. Woo. You need a clean putty rubber. I didn't even want that rubber on this one. So this is just the first sketch, by the way, guys. We're gonna hopefully a bit more done. Okay, cool. That's not bad. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit thinner and no, definitely got wet. It's just maybe a little bit more like that. Yeah, cool. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna draw a foot in a kind of neutralish position that I can draw. Okay, she's looking kind of cute, looking kind of cute, right. So, yeah, we're gonna go for like, she's gonna wear, I don't know if she's gonna wear that outfit in that one photo. Um, maybe a scarf to go with the wind. Oh, oh, there it is. I think we had some baggy sleeves because she's sort of wearing a cape in this photo and I'm thinking maybe a scarf I'm coming over her shoulder like that you know there it is because I kind of I think I kind of want it to be quite autumnal sort of looking it's a bit witchy look it's a bit like you know Harry Potter vibes as well isn't it kind of, oh well, no, because it's like... No. No. Like, like it's kind of got the... Yeah, a bit of a crease in it and stuff, yeah. Yeah. That's good, we've got this one. That's gonna go that over and it's gonna be like that and kind of sort of thing. Like that and she's got sort of oh I know we'll have it cinch in at the waist so we can still see the waist and then we'll have it Um, 
bush moment. Okay. So I kind of want to keep the shape in, but you definitely got to have. So I'm going to hide this neck with a scarf. And then we'll have the other bit of the scarf coming down there. <clears throat> and she's got the little ankle biter trousers. And then she's got little. It's like this woman's just having a moment to herself. She's just enjoying the breeze of the air and stuff. Um, she's gonna wear, be wearing. She's wearing jeans. Uh, I'm gonna do high waisted. And then yeah, pockets and stuff. Add. Creases in the back of jeans. There's going to be a hell load of creasing by there. And always a little And then just got a little like loafery. That's one thing I'm finding like different shoes to draw. Like I don't draw a variety of shoes, so that's quite fun. Interesting to draw this one. Then we might come up a bit and go around the foot, and I think it's going to square it off a bit more and flatten it out a little bit. Now we do that, and then one little ankle bone in there, and an ankle bone in there. I feel like this is, should go higher. And that should be more like that sort of thing. Let's draw a face. She's gonna be smiling. She's enjoying herself. She's having a momo. You know, we all have these times where we just gotta have a momo, enjoying nature. You know, we all have them. I think. I hope we do. If we don't, go out and enjoy the wind and the nature. And I find wind just so glorious it's just so refreshing isn't it that's what i find anyway anyway there'd be a there's a seam that goes on the inside there'd be a seam here yeah, yep yeah. i'll do a little up here and i'll bring and i'll pop it there i'm not gonna bother with belt loops because i really can't be bothered with the belt loops um, and there'd be a seam there, mm. and it you know, comes out there, and it's just going to be tarot tossels, so that's okay. That, and it comes out like that, and there, and anyway, this needs a f tying function. We could just do a belt like that. And so we could add a bit of metallics in, hey? We could add a bit of gold metallic in, that'd be kind of cute. Could have a little dangly earring as well going on. Yeah. She's having so much fun. She's having the time of her life right now, I can tell you that.
Okay, that's cute, I think. Now it's time to try and get this <laughs> putty rubber to be a putty rubber. Oh, that is a solid putty rubber. I don't think it putties anymore. Do you have to keep putty rubbers in a box or something? I don't know. And what's Christmassy about this? Well, she looks autumnal and Christmassy. That's not gonna mold. Yeah, I should, maybe, would it work in the microwave? Maybe don't not put it in the microwave. That might be a bit, a bit daft. Ooh. Oh, I need to work on the hands a little bit. Story. And maybe I'll add a bit of red into it. I don't know. I'm not really too sure. What I, I definitely think I want to give her a red lip because the one is Paris, and everyone knows of the Paris red, Paris red lip, the French red lip. So, should, yeah, let's line up. Where's my trusty 0 0.3? I love a 0 0.3 for the line art, and I do a 0 0.1 for like the art for like the details and then I use a 0 0.05 for like cross hatching and that sort of stuff. I think this putty rubber might be past its best buy. Unless I just have to heat it up and then keep it in a container. I think that's what I don't, I think you're supposed to keep putty rubbers in a container because then they just turn to rubbers but not as good because always slightly sticky. I don't know. I don't really know. Anyway, 0 0.3. Excited for this.
Okay, so she has been drawn up. I've just gone through my massive box of pens and I found some brown, some reds. I found a rose gold pen which I think I might use and I'm hoping you know, I've got some nice skin colors there. So hopefully that will be all right. Right, so let me just fully rub out all the pencil and why I also like to do this is because it also takes off any of like the really it just makes sure that the fine liner probably ain't gonna smudge on this paper it shouldn't some paper it does like I've got a little sketchbook and it's just so not porous which is what you want for alcohol pens is for it to be not porous but it's just that the fine liners just they don't end up sitting in the paper and it just takes forever and then they smudge into all the alcohol markers which is not what you want when you've just spent all that time and you really like it and then you're like damn now it's kind of ruined a little bit so i've got some colors here um all of these except this one and this one are spectrum noirs i haven't used these in ages i normally use my ohuhus which i do have right here so they're there but i just thought Maybe for skin colours we might be able to use some of these. I don't know if all of these actually work even, but I think for the metal things... Oh, you know what I should do? I should add a little um, metal thing, like a little dangly on top of here sort of thing just to so we have gold there you see we have the metal 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 we've got little bits of metal here and there just kind of popping through just to give it a whew, you know all right so i don't know what all these colors are like so let's pop them here i'm gonna do some swatching all right for skin let's pick up all the skin colors i grabbed I've got some browns and pinks as well so let's just see what these are like, but keep them a little bit away. That's quite an orangey colour. That's a nice skin colour. I also have my Ahuhus and my Copics as well. I kind of want to use some of these. They're all though, unfortunately, bullet nibs. So there we are. What the frick is happening to you? Oh, nothing really. That's very orange now, I think. I don't think you were ever really that orange. I'm not, I'm gonna put that one away because I don't want to accidentally pick that up and ruin it. That's nice, that's nice. I feel like some of these pinks have orangeified. That's quite yellow. I'm gonna pop you away as well. I quite like this ivory. Oh, actually that's turned out into quite a nice color. That was this one, wasn't it? Should always label which one's which. Oh, what I haven't done though is added shading so with my 0 0.05 so this is this is where I add in some depth to it sort of thing just like in these bits just a little bit of can you hear the wind it is so windy today like I think it's is it the tail end from all the hurricanes in America at the moment I don't know well, not at the moment uh, when you're watching it, but the hurricanes in America, Florida, you know, I think just happened recently. So that's not fun for you guys at all. Very sorry about that. Um, but maybe it's the tail end of that. I'm not entirely sure, but it could be. 
I don't really know, but it's just very windy. But obviously, nowhere near hurricane level. This should actually be a little seam here. I don't know why I'm going so, like, anatomically correct for this at all. But sure, why not? We can add our seams in, that's fine. <laughs> I think this drawing is actually super super cute, don't you guys? The fact that this is just supposed to be a sketch as well, not like a final drawing or anything. I'm really loving it, it's so cute. It's so fun and that's what, that's why I actually really, like I just do this challenge by myself just to get it going, just to get the mind going. But anyway, so just let that dry a little bit. And then I'm just gonna rub over it again one more time just to get, just to kind of get rid of some of the fine liner so it doesn't budge when I put the pens down. I think the kids are back from the park. That's a wee shame. I mean, it's not a shame. not a shame at all it's just that means I have to stop drawing. I'm gonna get some of my paints out and my comb picks. Let's see what shades we got. Nice for a little bit of a windswept because obviously she is being windswept that and oh I love this one. This is pale cherry pink R11 Copic um chows. I love them. I love them very much. So you might have seen that I actually drew some gloves onto her, so I thought, oh, why not, <laughs> why not, that is this it, so let's just start with this one. Do I need to zoom in a bit? I could do with zooming in a little bit, couldn't I? Just so you guys could see a bit more detail. Yeah. On my face, obviously. I'll try and remember to move you down when I'm like right now, I'm not really doing much. Don't worry. And then which one? This salmon pink was the one I wanted, wasn't it? Yeah. Just add a bit more depth to this wind blownness and then I'm just going to blend that with the pink I just used actually no, I'm going to blend it with the skin colour
cute and then I'll add highlights in later to kind of make her pop a bit more. I'm going to do a give her red lips, but I'm going to do that in a minute. Um, okay, let's look at these brooms. So I've got a couple, I've got three brands here, which I think look very autumnal. I think they look lovely. That, which is the TN7. Oh God, I've not put the thing in. Where is the thing? Here's the thing. My thing. Am I being called by my nephew? So that was the TN7. I'm gonna label these because I feel like a child's gonna come up, right? TN7. TN8. And the EB5, okay. EB5, I'm gonna... Beck Noir. So I know what they are. Love them. I'm loving those colours. They're lovely. But they're all a little bit dark, so let's see what my Ohuhus have to offer. That one. That one, that one. That's kind of all the browns there, isn't it? Yeah, so we've got some lighter ones. We've got Potato Brown, Terracotta, and Raw Umber. So let's do these ones as well. Oh, lovely potato brown, terracotta, and mm, I'm not going to use you, which is BR1 anyway. I'll leave you here. BR1, this one was YR5, and then this was the BR2. Okay, three, and we've also got. Oh, lovely. Let's just. Oh, God. Hey. Oh, it's actually quite dark, isn't it? Mmm. Mmm. I might need more goldy gold for that, actually. I want actual gold, not rose gold, because that's too dark. Okay, so I've got some more metallics. I've also got another brown here, which is another specky noir. It's a bit poo coloured to be honest, not my vibe. GB10. Nah, no, that's not the vibe that one. But I found some metallics. Um, I've got this really old gold. which is really dry. Might have to throw that out soon. <laughs> All right, so that's aged copper. Let's try aged copper one. Ooh, 
That might be the vibe. And what have we got here? We've got a green metallic -y one. Oh, you're dying. You're not dying that end. I think a bit too cool. I've got some silvers. I think we're gonna go aged copper. I think. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but we'll do that bit last. So what we what we thinking? Oh, should, let's swatch these reds as well, just as we're here. I only want one red, really. Let's try DR1. Mm, maybe. maybe. No. No. Okay, I'm gonna keep. DR1 and DR5 out. Right. D R1, D R5. There we go. And let's just DR1. Come in! Right, I have dinner. And that's all I wanted you to do with the red, was that. But I like the red, I like that a lot. So I've got dinner now. I might be back today, might be back tomorrow, but it doesn't make a difference to you because I will be back at some point. Hopefully. I hope so anyway. See you later, see you in a second. Hello. So we're back. Ah. Okay, let's get my colours up. Oh. Okay, so I kind of need like a brownie grey perhaps as well. I need a warm grey, something like that. Oh, you know what? I'll improv a little bit. Let's see. I'm thinking BR2. Potato brown for the jacket. That light keeps flickering at me.
cute, cute. <clears throat> I think I need a sort of, yeah I do, but I don't know what colour's gonna do that. I don't think I have a colour that's, it's just a dark grey, isn't it? Just a dark grey, let's see if this, yeah, that's good. I feel like she's in an advert, you know, just got that vibe about her. I was kind of thinking the same colour for the gloves, just so we have the colour kind of going up to the top, you know. A weird patchy one. I didn't realise that was going to happen. Um, and what colour was I going to do the belt? I thought I was going to do... Hmm. Let's do EB5, this dark one for the shoes I think. My favourite bit when it comes to doing art is when you put the white liner art on and it just looks so good then. Um, hmm. I might do the TN7 for the inside. Oh, that's a lovely colour. That's a beautiful colour. That.
back with that dark brown. It's gonna be in there. Color for her hair, you know. I don't know. I don't know what color to do for her hair. brown I'm gonna have to go like a brownie kind of color but what brown do I do that's the question you know <coughs> what brown do I do What shade of brown do I do for her hair? You know? Mm. Maybe the YR5, so it's like a bit of a ready sort of. No, I think I want it to be a bit more cool toned. But I don't know. Maybe this one. And that's too green. Maybe we'll go for start with this shade. My dad's with it, don't worry, everyone's with it, the whole family's with us, but... Cute, cute, cute. I really like her. She's so cute. She's adorable. Right, and now for fun liner.
I'm up in my room. Okay. I'm here, gorgeous. Does she not want to watch the film? Did you want to watch the film, doll? Then why are you up here? <laughs> you need to chop this down. I need to what? Chip. Down. I need to take this down. Do you need to take it off? Do you want to rip it off? This is scissors. Use scissors, okay. Uh, 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 the scissors. There we go. I don't want to do it. No, Willow, you can't play with scissors like that, okay? <laughs> Only your craft crinkly scissors. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> well, you won't be able to get it back on again, doll. I've taken it off. Okay. I'm a bit upset. Why are you upset then, doll? Um, a little bit. Why are you much. Not much, but why are you upset? What upset you, doll? <laughs> Bobby, my dad let me out. Rampy wouldn't let you out. Why not? But you're up here, so he must have let you out. I'm a bit confused. Did you want to watch the film? Mm -hmm. You want to watch Valiant downstairs? No, I can watch it, okay? Can we to come down with you? No. <coughs> no, don't you can't have those out there for a reason. Look, ice cream. Not ice cream. Oh, this ice cream, is it? Mm -hmm. Pen? <laughs> it's a pen, doll. It's just a pen. I'm pretend licking it. Pretend licking it, okay. Shall I come down with you? Okay, I'll be down now. Let me just finish drawing this and then... I'm coming now. What are you doing? Don't eat it. Let's pretend. <laughs> what are you doing? Isn't she super cute? Right, I better go deal with my daughter. See you later. I think this is a really cute drawing, but it's not Christmassy. It fits like two of the three criteria, I think. I think maybe I need to add more red. Like, obviously, we've got the scarf and we've got gloves, but like, it's not Christmassy, is it? Like at all, it's not Christmassy at all. 
I can tell it's cold, but there's nothing like speaking Christmas to me. So what I was thinking, I'm talking quietly now because Willow's in bed, is I don't know where to get these Christmassy houses in, you know? I don't know where I'm gonna put those because this is just, it's so lovely. But then I was thinking, these are brown, her coat's brown. And what I'm thinking is maybe putting them along the bottom and on the hems and stuff. And I'm gonna do that because I love this drawing, but it's not Christmassy enough. It's not got this in it. So that's what I think I'm gonna do, I think. I'm gonna sort of draw those, but like, so on the hems and the cuffs. And maybe I'll draw little like snowflakes, because I can just do all that with a white gel pen. I think I'm gonna do that. I know that I should be doing another sketch, but this is just so good that I just, I just don't know about filling in this other space because I just, it's just so lovely, you know? So I'm using a 0 0.8, you think? Jelly roll one. There we go. I'm going to draw these little houses down here. And maybe I'll draw some of those houses here. I don't know. I feel like she's in a snowball fight. Do you guys see that now? Like, imagine she's in a snowball fight and someone's, you know, throwing one at her, she's fleeing one, and she's like, ah, you got me, and she's about to fling one, you know. I feel like it's that. Sorry if I'm mumbling a bit. Willow's asleep, I'm listening to music now because I'm tired. But, there we go, so, maybe I'll very lightly sketch it with my pencil first. And obviously they need to follow. Um, I could probably practice those houses somewhere else, but no one goes to in for it. And then I'm going to colour those doors in red, I think. That's looking way more Christmassy now. And we've got a Christmassy motif going on. And maybe. Do we want to do the houses on the sleeves as well, or should we just do like loads of snow and then build it, you know, like less and lower? I don't know. I don't know what to do. That's cute, isn't it? There's a window on the door. Do I do I put houses on the sleeves as well, or do I just do snow? Hmm. I think we do houses, don't we? Right. Ah, we'll just wing it. Do I want to wing it? Yeah, we'll wing it. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Or should I just do lots of snow? I think I should do houses. I'm in my head. I'm having house do the house do houses to do houses. Okay. jacket made of gingerbread. I love it. Hey 
it's so cute. Oh, so cute. I know I should have really done like lots of different ones, but I just think I just nailed it on the head straight away. It's so cute. It's so freaking cute. <laughs> Look how cute that is, guys! It's so cute! Wow! I did it! Look how cute that is! I really want that jacket as a jacket now. She's so cute, I love it! I am literally so in love with this drawing now. Like it was, yeah, doing, putting the houses on the sleeves. Uh, it's just, I want this coat so bad. And it makes me so sad it doesn't exist. But you can just imagine her, she's in a snowball fight with like her son or her brother or, you know, dad, something like that. I don't know, but it's just adorable. I love this drawing so much. It's just so cute. It's just little houses on the coat. So, so cute. Just so cute. It's really cute. Oh. Mm. If you want um, that pose reference from Pinterest, I will link my drawing uh, Pinterest board uh, down below in the description if you want to find that it will be there somewhere um, and you'll find my Pinterest account which will have the Christmas stuff and all of that stuff but it's just so cute I love it I'm I'm so happy with it oh, I know my plan was to you know fill the whole page but I just nailed it in one go essentially which is much more my style, is to just do, just do one. I'm not much of a sketcher, but like sometimes with this challenge, you do have to do a bit more sketching. It was more doing colour swatches with pens I hadn't used for a while. That was more the thing this time. I'm so happy with this drawing. It's so cute. I might draw her again um, and maybe I'll, Maybe I'll work on like a watercolour snowy background. I don't know, and maybe put those houses in the background. I don't know, but she is adorable. She is so cute. Mm. I do think like, I mean, you look at the top half, you don't really look at the feet that much. And there's not really much to look at down there, to be honest just focus on the top. But she's so pretty, I love her. Oh. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully you subscribe, that would be very nice. Because I do lots of drawing um, 